was waiting more motivating! Oh my god, that was loud. <laughs> Sorry, alright? Uh, interrupt me, will you? That's what you get. You interrupted me. You said ass. Dollar in a swear jar. Uh, yeah. Alright, it's pretty much a tutorial, but it's gonna be the basic tutorial. Space to jump, or whatever you assign the jump button. I don't know why it's going to basic computer. Double jump, it's simple. I don't know why it's going to the computer basic controls, but yeah. Oh my god, it's a monster! No, it's not. Relax! That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They hope you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Come on, so get that figment! Your first print, collect 100 figment points, and you'll be promoted. Alright, that doesn't mean you have to connect 100 overall, just some are worth different points. Like, look at. Look right here when it goes up. Ah, you, uh, you can look, look at them in your journal. And there we go. This is emotional baggage. Sorry. Alright, now let me show you some changes to the journal. Alright, sorry, this is gonna be a little boring at first, but sorry. The obstacle course one, alright, in the area, alright? It changes. It's not it's no longer what's the whole two the whole two black things and the side cards and what was the other thing? And the side challenge markers, alright? In the obstacle course It's figments, alright? You can look at your figments. This helps you like sometimes it's hard to get all figments, like in some worlds, it's gonna be, take for me a while to get all the figments, so I'll probably just speed up that process. And I'll tell, you, I'll tell you good techniques for finding all figments later, but it is hard. Alright, cobwebs, we don't know what cobwebs are yet. And vaults, vaults, we don't know what those are yet. And the things at the bottom that are black, those are the emotional baggage. There's five emo emotional baggages. Baggage. What's the, what's the, what's the plural? Huh. Someone put the plural in the comment box. Okay, very much. Alright, we got, I believe this is the purse. This is the purse, yeah. This is, I believe, the steam trunk. Something like that. No, this is the purse. Steam trunk. Duffel bag, hat box, suitcase. Yeah, yeah. Duffel bag, hat box, purse, steam trunk, suitcase. And to sort them out, you each need to have you need to get the baggage tag for all of them. And when they they come together, they get sorted out. And every mental ops every mental world has five of them. Okay? And that's about all that changes. Oh, but your map is you don't have a map. Here it is. Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and get me funny right now. Fine. And da da Oh steam trunk, right? Shit, I forgot what it I'm gonna look I'm gonna look at back what that said later. Sorry if I swear. Hey, sorry, Coach Oleander. I had to go slow because it's a let's play. Well, that's not why I'm going slow. Alright. And we have more figments. There's figments everywhere, man. Wait. Okay, you know, I may have lied to you when I said each mental world has five things no each mental world does have five things of emotional baggage but not like each mental world will have maybe one or two parts like i'll show you later but like right now there's not there's not just 72 figments in this whole world there's more than just 72 and i'll show you later but right now in this segment there's 72 watch out fire down below sorry my i don't know why i'm going Oh yeah. We can't get past this. This is stupid. Hmm. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret more advanced route, but that's supposed to me. You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry. What? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. 
Did you just call your foot stupid? You are supposed to go down, though. Figments galore. And there's two possible routes out of here, alright? And I'm gonna show you both of them. Look what happens when you talk to her, though. I love this. I just find that funny. Like, he's like, come on. Come on. You know you want to. I like what happens when you hit her. Hit like a boy. I find that funny. Alright. Here's one of the routes. This is kind of a simpler route. I got all the figments down there? Pretty sure I did. Alright, a simpler route where you jump on these. Now, I'm gonna probably take a while here because I want to get these figments. There's a couple of figments flying around. No, 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 wait! Ah, sh Ah, damn it. There's a couple of figments flying around. And, honestly, it may not seem that hard, but trust me. Yeah! Oh, wow, I survived. Okay. There's like only three figments flying around, but it's gonna be annoying to get all of them. Trust me, there's even worse areas. Like, there's one area in this world where it's super annoying to get all the figments. But we're not there yet. Okay, that's not something you should tell kids. Alright. And that's a simpler way. But, we got these two fig. I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna get these three figments. Alright. I'm gonna get these figments here. But now, I'll see we just ranked up because we got enough we got enough figment points. But now Shut up, Oleander! God, you're annoying you're more annoying than GLaDOS. <sighs> now we're gonna go back. I know, I know. But like I said, there's two ways. This is the simple way. And the second one is more complex. You know, I said there's like probably a more advanced route we had to take. Yeah, there is a more advanced route that we can take. We don't have to, but we can take it. I was the first time I played this, I didn't know about this route. I took the more advanced run because I saw it first. Like you probably saw that sign. That sign is like secret exit, something like that. And here it is. It's not. It's the more advanced one. Pre-entry. No, no, no! Yes. I hate my I hate this controller sometimes. The analog sticks a little messed up. So if you see Raz randomly walking when I'm randomly walking in different dumb directions, it's because of that. Crap! I heard something. Sorry. And there we go. We should have <laughs> fail. There we go. That was actually pretty easy. That was like a little, that was easier than the other one. I hate the lighting in this game sometimes. But yeah. And we just appear back here. Ta da! And if I'm correct, yeah, I have a good amount of, I already have a lot of figments. And oh my god, I hate this. He goes so slow. No. Because I'm gonna call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? Too slow. <laughs> <laughs> Oleander, you ass. Alright. Alright, let's get all these figments. Yeah, there's another part where it's a w little weird to get all the f a little annoying to get all the figments because you gotta keep on bouncing. It's game day, kid. What just happened? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're supposed to get back here. Huh. Remember that tag we found earlier? Suit that suitcase tag we found earlier, the pink one? Well, this is where he is. I'll show you how to get here, because I got here by accident, as you can see. So I'll show you the different route. 
This is mental health. This is pretty much your health in the game. All right. Right now you have. Your mental health is displayed. It's not in the upper right corner right now. But it's displayed through brains. As you can see, like down there under this is where through that tube is where we were able to find that one suitcase. Stop that! There we go. Shut up. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on jumping until I get all of these. Yes. There's a couple more. So you can see they're like so you see, like, if you look at the figments in the... Somebody should, I should tell you, like, if you look at the figments in the people's minds, it's from their past. Like, it's easy to tell. Like, Oleander has a lot of army figments. Like, when I have a field... Like, I'll show you, like... We'll show you see some of them right now. See, like, there's the planes, the sharpness of the monsters. Nice, that tanks, all right? There's even more. So yeah, pretty much, he just made this wall a little more annoying to climb. This world can be so dark. Why did I go under? Why the hell did I do that? Alright, talk to Dogen, and he'll, you gotta help, you don't have to do this, but I always do this, because it does help you in the end. Like, and you, can, you pretty much have him follow you, alright? And you can't let him hit the mines, alright? I can't do it. I can't do it. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. <laughs> pretty much every time he says I can't do it, just talk to him, and he'll be like, okay. He's like, I can't do it. But then you talk to him, he's like, okay. I can't do it. I can't. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. <laughs> and that's just pretty much follow this pad. Like, it's not that hard. Like, if you find yourself in a, near a bunch of mines, just find the biggest gap between two and walk between them. Okay, really? There's no gaps. Really, really, yeah. You were in between. It was a pretty big gap. Look, yes. I didn't explore it all. Good hustle out there. Hey, um, this is Fred. Yeah, yeah, bye. Psychic arrowheads. So pretty much these psychic arrowheads convert to real money in the real world. So pretty much this is your money and uh this helps this transfers to your money in the game. I'm, so I'm gonna get all the figments right here. I think I got all of them except that one right there. Get back it! Pretty sure I got all of them in this one. And what we're supposed to do now? You jump on poles to climb them. You, all right. This is how you save progress. This is telling you now. It's probably a good time to save. That's telling you now. It's probably a good time to save. See, I just got all the figments. Nice. Now, this isn't the end of the world, though. Like, this is a good time to save, actually. This is a good time to save. I'll save after this, though. Because when we punch this and jump through... Okay, first I'm gonna get the figments around here. See these really happy guys? Just later, you're gonna later you're, you're gonna see they're not so happy. Now obstacle course. See? Now obstacle course too. 
See, we're in the second part of Coach Ole Oleander's mind now. The second obstacle course. See, everything resets. Cop. That was weird. Cobwebs are from zero to zero of three. Vaults went to zero to zero of two. Figments went to seventy-three. To now it's seventy-nine. There's seventy-nine figments in this section, and we can't get them all set. We can we? Yeah, we can. But not in the first trip, I think. Now uh, just jump and punch to activate this. You score enough points on this course, kid, and I'll give you a reward. So pretty much, what you do is you punch, you get a tile limit, and you have to punch the evil things. But like, the faster they come up, the worse. See like how they start having seconds over them? They're gonna start coming up faster. Okay, we get it, god. What's it? Oh shit, if you hit a... You're not supposed to hit the pedestrians. The little babies, you're not supposed to hit those. <laughs> now, you can play- Okay, now. You can play this game more to get better- pr To get good prizes, alright? And I honestly do like the prizes. They do power you up. But I am gonna- sh I'm not gonna do that now. I'll do that later when we come- We're gonna come back later, and that's when I'll do it. Trust me, that won't be that far from now. But actually, I'm going to save. And I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to end this episode here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Chris at Jellicle Productions. Thanks for watching.